Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce a new feature that's available in the document manager in Tackle Structures version 2020. So to begin what I'll do is open up the document manager and then I'm going to open up a drawing just to show a few scenarios that will help explain why we created this new functionality. So let's just take a look at a few things on this drawing. You can see this section that I've cut over here on the right hand side. It looks really clean with my view depth up and down. I'm not seeing any extra additional information so I can come in and add my dimensions and create my sections and details as required. If we take a look at this one over on the left, I can see that I'm seeing a lot of additional information. So maybe my view depth up and down aren't quite accurate. So if I take a look at the drawing settings, we can see that that is the case. So here's my depth up, which is pretty okay. But you can see that my depth down is much larger. So that's why I'm seeing a lot of additional information on this drawing. So I could come in and I can edit these values if I want directly within the drawing. Uh, but it'd be more of a trial and error to wean out exactly what I'm trying to see. So we've added a new option to be able to do that directly in the model to make it more visible for you. Another thing that I want to point out here on this drawing is I've created this detail one here. Um, but for some reason this drawing is actually flipped in the opposite direction, this specific view. And I don't really have a good way to adjust that here within the drawing. I could delete the detail and recreate it. Um, but we've also added an option for you to adjust that within the model as well using this new functionality. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that is. So I'll go ahead and close the drawing open back up the document manager and you'll notice this new icon over on the right hand side called show drawing views in the model for selected drawings and that's exactly what it does is it will show all of the drawing views that are associated to a drawing within the model and allow you to make adjustments using direct modification and some other tools available in the contextual toolbar so as I click that on you can see that it draws a boundary box around each view and as you come in and select one, it will highlight or illuminate that. And you'll also have this new contextual toolbar that will show up. So let me explain some of the settings that are available here. So if I hit this first drop down, this will give me a list of all of the views, sections, or details that are shown on the drawing. So if I want to toggle between those, then I can do that. So here's section view B. You can see that it's labeling that there within the model. And then you'll see the blue dimension, green dimension, and red dimension, which is showing me the boundary box of the view. So my view depth up and down, as well as the length and the width. And then I can just go through and toggle through all of these different sections or views. And if we want to begin to look at these a little more closely, we can begin using the buttons at the bottom of the contextual toolbar. So this first one is clipping around the selected view boundary box. So if I turn that on, what it's going to do is it's going to remove everything from the model except for what's shown in that specific view. And you can see if I zoom in a little closer, you can see that I have these arrows. These are indicating to me the uh, direction that this view was cut. So if I spin that around, we can look at it a little more closely. And if I zoom in here, I can see that this black box in the middle, that's the view plane. So this is where the view was cut from. And then over here, this will be my view depth up. Uh, depending on my direction and my view depth down. All right, so this is the view where we were showing some additional information and I can begin to see why. Um, so this view depth uh, right here is extending well beyond where I want it to and so we're picking up some additional information. So what we've done is we've added in some additional tools that to make it easier to see and to adjust. So let me go ahead and turn this one off and I'll show you this next one here. What this will do is it will emphasize these objects in red that are shown or passed through this view bounding box. So I can see all of this information there and then it will make the other objects in the model transparent. And I can use these in tandem. So if I want to turn both of these on at the same time, I can make this real easy to see and to understand my view. So let's switch to a plan view here and see if we can dial this in a little better. All right, so here again, where these arrows are showing from in this black line, this is where the view plane was cut. And I can see that I'm seeing well beyond what I wanted to look at in this section. So using direct modification, I can just click and drag, and you can see that this will update in real time. All right, and so now that's what will be shown in this specific view. So I won't be seeing a lot of information beyond that. 
Over here on the right hand side I have the ability to update the drawing as I make changes or I can discard changes. So if I'm okay with these changes I'll just go ahead and click this green checkbox to commit those changes. What this does is, is it then updates that view in the drawing. Alright so let's take a look at the other section that we were having an issue with this detail view one. So if I zoom in here close, again, I can see the same information. I can see the direction that the view was cut. I can see my view plane there within the middle. And then I have my bounding box um, on either side. So sometimes it can be difficult within the model to see exactly what the view looks like in the drawing. So we've added in this button here to dis display selected view as a new model view. So if I click on this, what it will do is it will create a model view exactly the way that the drawing view would look. And so I can see again that this is cut in the wrong direction that I wanted to have on my drawing. So I can close this and come back to the contextual toolbar. And we've added an option to reverse the view direction. So if I click that, you can see that the view direction is reversed. My arrows are now pointing a different direction. If I want to double check on that, I can create a brand new view. Again, this is what the view will look like on my drawing. And now it's going in the proper direction. So I can close that temporary view and commit these changes. It will then update the drawing to reflect the changes that I've made here within the model. There's a couple other options here to change the view angle if you want to do that as well. And then you can also show the rotation handles. And you can use direct modification to click and rotate these as needed. If you like the changes, go ahead and commit them. If you don't, you can simply discard those. So let's go back into this drawing and see how these drawing views were updated. Make sure everything's looking the way that we anticipated. So as that's opened here, let's go ahead and first check up here. So this is looking much better. We're only seeing uh, the proper information uh, that we wanted to. Again, if I want to check my view depth up and down values, I can do that here. So that's much better. And then I can come over here and take a look at this detail one and I can see that this is now going the right direction that I wanted it to. So one other thing that I want to show is how this can be used in conjunction with other tools that are already available as well. So let's open up the document manager here and let's take a look at this uh, 1001 drawing. So with this option on I'll just click that again and then it will remember the settings that I'm using so this is the new drawing that I'm looking at over here if I click on one of these again then I have the same contextual toolbar and the one specifically that I want to focus on is this end view alright so I'll isolate that and then come here and just have it create a temporary view within the model so I can easily see that and then if you have a drawing that's already created you can use this in conjunction with displaying snapshots in the model so if I go ahead and click this to turn on the overlay, I can see the drawing annotations here within the model as well. So if I want to view the, uh, the welds, the marks, or just any of the annotations, then I can easily toggle this on or off, just as if I was viewing there within the drawing. So a uh, nice little additional functionality to view the snapshot overlay within the model. So as mentioned, this is available in Tecla Structures version 2020. As always, we invite you to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.